The Autodesk Model Checker for Revit comes as part of the BIM Interoperability Tools, which is a series of add-ins for Revit that you can get from the Autodesk website or through the, uh, through the Autodesk desktop application. And the Model Checker is designed to let you quantify and count uh, instances and information and data inside of your Revit model. It has a new functionality that allows you to automate running of checks. In the past, you would need to open up Revit, open up your model, go to the BIM Interoperability Tools tab, and run Model Checker directly from there. So this automation functionality is set up to allow you to be pretty hands-off when it comes to running your checks. You've got to go through some configuration, some setup, and, but once things are set up and running properly, you pretty much just open Revit and go. Now, I'm going to be referring to some sections in the Autodesk Knowledge Network. There's going to be a link to that page in the description, and I'm going to copy some copy paste some things there, but this is going to be at a high-level walkthrough of what you can find there. Now, like I mentioned, the idea behind the workflow is once you have things set up properly, you open up Revit. And then if Revit finds an automation XML in the correct location, it is going to go through those model checker steps before you can do anything inside of Revit at all. So if you've got your XML there, it runs. If it's not there, it just ignores it uh, and nothing happens and you, you move on with Revit as normal. So the basic steps are, of course, you want to get your files ready. This is going to be your Revit models. This is going to be your model checker check set XML, which is exactly the same as before. You're going to create an automation XML. Then you need to save that XML to the specified location. That's under program data slash Autodesk slash BIT slash model checker. And then the year of Revit that you want to run your checks on. And then all you need to do is open Revit up. And like I mentioned, if it finds the properly formatted XML, it's going to run through there, open your models, open the checks, and go from there. So here you can see I've got a couple sample Revit models, uh, just three RVT files here. They're, they're in version 2021. This is a cleaned up version of the dashboard sample check that I found in the public library. I called it My Small Check. It runs properly when I use it through the UI. And then here's a folder where I'm gonna put my results. Now, my XML, my results location, and the, the project files can all be in different locations. That doesn't matter. I've just consolidated them here for the demo purposes. So the next thing I need to do is create an XML file that is set up for automation. And what I wanna use for that is to take a look at the AKN page under getting started here. And what I find easiest is just to copy this, paste it in there, and start rolling with the tweaks I need to make for my own checks. So I'm gonna grab all of this here in the little sample. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna open up Notepad, I'm gonna paste it in here. So this gives me a general idea of what's gonna happen to my, my check set when I run it. So the first option up here is clean up. And right now it's set to delete. So after this run, since this is set to delete, it is going to delete my automation XML, not my check set, not my model files, but this is assuming a one-time run as well. If I go back to the page here, I can see I've got the options for uh, delete. I've got an option for none, which leaves it, to, leaves it alone. I've got move, which is going to move this automation XML to a subfolder, or I have rename, which is simply going to add the extension dot complete on there once it is done running. So once it's in here, I need to start getting things set up. So I need to update my model path. I need to update my check set path. And I need to check, set my, uh, my settings here based on how I want my output. So my model path is here. Here's the path location. Um, let's put this in here. And then the file name itself is project uh, 481516. Dash two zero two one RVT. So that's a typo. So this is the path to the RVT file. Where is the check set? That's in the same location. So I'm going to paste in the path location, and then it's called my small check dot XML. So this would be good to go mostly as it is here. Automation is going to find the model. It's going to find my check set. But then what is it going to do with it once it's done? This is where I give it its properties. Do I want to export an HTML file? I'm going to say false to that. I do want it to export an Excel file. Since I'm ignoring the, the HTML export, this doesn't matter. This is the where it would save that HTML file. But I do care about the Excel path. 
and I'm going to come here and I'm going to give it the same uh, base location and we'll say results and then I'm going to call this uh, by the product number 481516.xlsx. Now something to note, um, this is actually just the prefix of the file name. It is going to add more information to the file name, giving it a date timestamp so I know exactly when that was run. And this allows me to use the same configuration with my automation uh, and, and collect multiple reports as it goes along. So I want to come in here and I want to say, no, I do not want to check the links, but if I had links in this model, I had that on true, it would open up those models and use these same configuration settings in here. Now, again, if I go back to the AKN, all this stuff is in here. There's the path. Here's where it tells me about exporting HTML. Here's where it tells me about the export Excel setting. All these settings are, are in here. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and we'll get down to logging in just a second. So once I like this one, I'm going to actually just grab these and I'm going to paste this and I'm going to put my other RVTs in here as well. 321 and I'm going to change this to 654, 321 and then this one is project 8675309 and I'm going to change the Excel to 8675309. So this is configured properly now to run. I need to save this to the location where the model checker is going to find it. And as I mentioned from the PowerPoint, this is where it's going to be saved. It's going to be, this is C, Program Data, Autodesk, BIT, Model Checker, and then the year. And this one is in 2021. And I'm going to go into Automated Runs. And I'm going to copy that path. So when I save my XML file, I'm just going to put it in here and I'm going to call this mca.xml. So now in my automated runs folder, I have mca.xml. So now this is sitting here. I can close Notepad. Um, I can leave everything else open, but now when I run Revit 2021, I'm not going to see anything in the UI, but if you watch the status bar, we should see uh, the progress of the files opening. And I'm also going to pull this folder up to the front because this is where I told my automation to save my Excel files. And we should see my Excel files starting to populate. So I'm just going to go ahead and open Revit. I'm going to pull this to the front and then I'm just going to sit back and let Revit run and do its thing. Um, and we should see those Excel files populate. I'm going to speed this up a little bit in the editing so it's not a so it's not so boring just watching this do essentially its own thing without me saying anything. And so that's it. Revit ran, Revit opened the models, the model checker saw our XML file, and it created these Excel exports. So one thing you'll notice, it does not take me to my start page. There's no way in the API to get there. But if I just click up here, the home, it's going to open up back to my Revit home and I can close Revit at this point. If I come back to that automated runs folder, you'll notice my automation XML is gone now because I set the cleanup as delete. So I may want to keep a backup copy of that somewhere if I think that it's a problem. Other than that, it's just a matter of coming and reviewing my results. Or if I come back here and there is a problem, I can come back to program data under model checker, there's a logs folder. And you can see I've got a lot of logs here from my testing, but here's the most recent one. This one happened at 105 today. And so if I need to, I can open up this log file, do some review. It tells me the individual models, what it tried to do, what it tried to do with the settings, and if there are any problems as it was automating all of that. So that's a high level overview. Um, if I come back to the AKN page, there's a couple of just notes here about how to set your true and false. Uh, there's a PDF you can download that's going to walk through the exact same thing here. There's some notes down here. I mentioned the one about the home page not opening. Automation cannot close Revit for you. That's simply not part of built into the API. And since it's basically walking you through the steps 
of opening your Revit model for you. If you ever get any of those prompts when you open a file, if there's something corrupt or if there's a warning and error, the model checker automation does not know how to deal with that. So, so you've got to make sure that your models are clean and they're ready and they can, they can be processed in this quick way uh, as much as possible. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that gets you some, some time back to your day and hopefully you find that useful.